Welcome to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. Here we talk about all things franchising. What is it all about? Is it for you? How do you find the best one to own? And so much more. Now your host, Tim Parmeter. Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach, and your podcast host. And today I'm the host of the 150th episode of this little thing we call Franchising 101. If I'm being really honest, I don't know that I ever thought I'd get past episode two. So here we are three years later. Thanks to all of you who have listened, followed, subscribed, reached out, actually all of our guests as well, whether it has been our franchise partners, just other experts in the industry, and of course, our clients that have come on to share their experience. Uh, Definitely a lot more of the same in the ensuing weeks, months, years, hopefully, of of this crazy thing. And uh, also going to bring on some more of our Frank Coach team members here over the next few months as we have grown um, exponentially here in 2023. And looking forward to continuing that on, but also kind of sharing sharing who the heck else uh, is, is around this uh, Fran Coach uh, thing. So really looking forward to that. What I want to talk about today, one thing in particular, is really one thing I don't think we have spent much time on, but it is exclusive to franchising. It is one thing that is consistent with every single franchise, and it is a line item of an expense that you are going to have as a franchise owner. It is this pesky little thing called royalties. What the heck is a royalty? Why in the heck am I paying it? When am I paying it? How much am I paying it? And let's be honest, what's in it for me? So we're going to talk about that. But first, as always, let's do a quick reminder of who we are. Fran Coach is a national search firm dedicated to working with individuals who are interested in owning a franchise. We are partnered with well over 600 franchisors in about 70 different industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own. And the goal of the Franchising 101 podcast is to help educate people on all aspects of franchise ownership. One aspect that, again, I don't know how the heck we've slipped this many episodes before we have talked about it is royalties. So this is honestly an area sometimes people get a little like start, start to start to hyperventilate on a little bit. What is a royalty? Well, royalty is the fee you as a franchise owner are going to pay to the franchisor weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, at the, at the most it's going to be monthly. You're going to pay that basically forever as long as you are a franchise owner. It's going to be a percentage of your revenue, usually, with, you know, four to eight percent, somewhere in there. There's uh, a little bit of a range with that. Most of the time, it's a percentage. Every now and then, it's going to be something that's up that as a flat fee. So right off the bat, you're like, whoa, 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 what the crap? I'm the one out here doing all the work. I'm making the money. Now you want to cut. Yes, yes, they do. So here is why. What, what's the purpose of royalties? Well, first off, the franchisor created this business. It is a business. They have built it up from absolutely nothing from scratch, created it, tested it, trials, errors, tribulations, all of the things, got it to a point where the business was doing so well that they thought it could be replicated. Okay, now let's turn this into a franchise. From there, that business now is spending oftentimes hundreds of thousands of dollars to take their initial just business that they started Tim Sandwich Shop, man, do I make some good sandwiches? I know I can replicate this. Great. I'm now going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to take Tim Sandwich Shop and turn it into Tim's Sandwich Franchise. Then from there, I'm going to continue to invest in people, infrastructure, marketing, all of the different things to find franchise owners. Okay. Um, and when somebody comes on as a franchisee, the first thing that they're doing when they sign the franchise agreement is they are paying the franchise fee. Franchisors don't really make money off of the franchise fee. That's essentially the cost to get you on board as a franchise owner, to find that person that becomes a franchise owner, their internal staff, everything like that. It's kind of where that goes. So I don't want to say they make zero money, but it's pretty insignificant. 
from that standpoint, where they make their money on the royalties. So I may spend a couple hundred thousand dollars turning Tim Sandwich Shop into a franchise. Then I've got to find my first franchise owner. That may take a few months, may take six months. Once now I have you on board as a franchise owner, you are the new franchise partner. You've signed the franchise agreement. You've paid the franchise fee. Tim Sandwich Shop, we need retail space. We need to build that. It could be nine months before you're open. I'm not going to actually make a dime of royalties for, let's say, a year and a half after I've become a franchisor, right? But all of the money is spent over that time on everything I need to support you as a franchise E, right? So royalties are really one, it is a long game for a franchisor, but really, as Tim Sandwich Shop, the founder, right? And now I've turned this into a franchise. It is still at the heart of everything and the core. This is a business. As a business, you are entitled and it is your right to make money. In fact, it's a pretty damn good idea to make money as a business owner, right? So those royalties are in part that franchisor's ability and right to make money. Now, as a business owner, what you do with the money you make is up to you. If at the end of the year you have $100,000 of just total net profit and you would like to blow all of that on lottery tickets and a month long trip to Tahiti, have at it, have a blast, it'll be amazing, right? That's probably not the smartest thing to do as a business owner, right? Yeah, spend some of it on, take some of it into your pocket as a business owner, absolutely. But what you should really be doing as a business owner, whether it's Tim's Sandwich Shop, Tim's Franchisor, or a franchisee for Tim's Sandwich Franchise, you should be reinvesting some of that money back into the business. So where royalties come in, and again, this is a long play for the franchisor. Frankly, not that franchisees care about that, but I'm just kind of giving you again the kind of the kind of the 411 on how this works. Hey everyone, I wanted to take a quick break from our podcast to tell you about our amazing friends at Entrepreneur. If you're looking to become a franchisee or simply learn more about business ownership, and guys, let's be honest, you're listening to the Franchising 101 podcast, so we know you have some interest in this. And I really encourage you to go to entrepreneur.com to check out all of their great content and resources. Seriously, Entrepreneur has everything, all the way from a bookstore to the best podcast webinars and videos, plus information on upcoming events and the latest articles that seriously, they cover all aspects of franchising and business ownership. If you're having trouble deciding which franchise is right for you, start with Entrepreneur's renowned Franchise 500 ranking, which highlights the best franchises of 2022. For 45 years and counting now, Entrepreneur has been and continues to be the most widely recognized and respected authority in the franchise market. Digital and print subscriptions are available so you never miss out on anything. So seriously, what are you waiting for? Go to entrepreneur.com right now and learn more. That money that is coming in, that six, seven, eight percent of your revenue Yes, the franchisor has the right to make a profit off of that. They, again, created it and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to get to this point. But it is how they are paying for everything else to support you as a franchise owner. Um, There are going to be any number of people along the way that are going to be there from the very beginning to onboarding, to training, to a business coach, to any anybody, all the people in the marketing standpoint, the operations, the technology side of things, all of those people and all of the systems in there, those royalties are going to going to basically pay for them or that, right? Because when you think of royalties, what this really is, this is a partnership. So as a franchisor, the better I do finding franchisees the better I do training and onboarding and supporting them once they become an owner, the better the franchisee does. More money the franchisee makes, happier they are. More money the franchisor makes, happier they are. Happy, happy, right? That's what this is all about. So all of those things that are going to ongoing support you, even if it's sometimes as simple as, hey, we're, we've got a department in here that is creating national accounts, Right. Uh, maybe it is we are we're constantly sourcing vendors. 
man, Tim Sandwich Shop, we just got an amazing partnership with this napkin company. We are getting the napkins for our franchisees cheaper than anybody else out there, right? Well, somebody internally within our franchise had to work for that to then pass that on to you as a franchise owner, right? Um, anything from a marketing standpoint, all of the digital work, uh, the website, the SEO, when you Google Tim Sandwich Shop, right? Or you sandwich shop near me, poof, at the top, if Tim Sandwich Shop is always coming up, somebody was working on that internally, right? So you have all of those things going for you. Um, and one of the pieces that I think really drives this home during the process as we are connecting people to the franchisors, six to eight week journey when the discovery process of the mutual vetting between you and the franchisors. And it's, it's, it's a cumulative effect. You start learning a little bit more and more and you start talking to some more people, but ultimately you're going to get to that, that last piece, that last step in the process. And we've talked about this a lot on, on the show is meet the team day or discovery day. This is when now you're like, yeah, okay, I'm paying, paying the royalties. Every now and then people have a little hang up on this is why we want to talk about it. Yeah, I'm paying the royalties, but you walk into meet the team day virtually or in person and you're like, whoa, now I get it, right? There's, there isn't just a marketing person, there's a marketing department. Um, there's not a training person, there's a training department, right? Um, all of those different things where you just really essentially become overwhelmed, overwhelmed in a good way, a positive way of like, wow, look at all of the people that are here to support me. None of them would be there without the royalties, right? So it is unique to franchising. Um, it is one of the reasons why franchise owners are so significantly more successful than somebody starting up a business. Because again, the franchisor, we always talk about this, they have the proven plan, right? They've figured everything out. But part of that plan is everybody that is there, all of the systems and support for you once you become a franchise owner, that would not happen without royalties. So that is a little uh, kind of understanding of what that looks like. So when you are vetting a franchise and you see they talk about, you know, hey, here's seven percent royalties, and you like there's there's a there's a moment for everybody where they're like, oh man, I got to pay that. Yes, you do. And as you go through this journey, you're going to again just be essentially overwhelmed with the amount of support that money is is basically buying you things that you could not possibly that that it's a pretty insignificant amount of money when you look at it from a standpoint of like if I'm going to do this from scratch. I have to figure all of this out, hope it works, hope I know how to find the right people for all of these different areas, many of which I may not know much about. So that is, that's royalties, my friends. Last little thing I wanna just kind of share with everybody, just, I don't know, sometimes I, I feel like I kind of gloss over this. When you are certainly finding us on wherever you listen to your podcast, keep doing so, awesome, thank you. But I do wanna make sure everybody's aware of other places you can find us, social media, and our websites, and there's three of them now. Francoach.net, obviously our main site, franchising101podcast.net, but then franchisingnews.net also. Francoach.net is our main site, actually in the process of being revised. I can't wait, I hate our current website, by the way. So it's uh, gonna get this fantastic new look within a couple couple months. Um, podcast site is there in addition to all the podcast platforms, but Franchise News is, Basically, it, it is blogs, and there are a ton of them that not only our team has uh, been able to create, but we've uh, really been able to, like, without even trying, get a lot of franchisors that want to be guest contributors. So it's not just me and the Fran Coach crap. It's a lot of other things in franchising as well. So if you like to read, definitely check that out as well. And then, of course, our social media sites for all three, Fran Coach, Franchising 101 Podcast, and Franchising News they are there for you pick your platform and reach out send us a message let's get set up for a phone call if you have any interest curiosity in determining if this is the path for you and we know you do you're listening so get come on with it um, let's chat there is never ever any fee for our service to work with our team so we encourage you to reach out today to help you create your better tomorrow Thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a fantastic day and we look forward to talking to you next week.
Thanks for listening to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast, where our ultimate goal is to help educate you on all things franchising so you can create your better tomorrow.